Nightwing's also attacking this prisoner of war, an American soldier, Bergdahl, for saying, you know what? He might be a deserter who walked off the base. And because he said this. This came out in a Rolling Stones piece, which is actually Michael Hastings' last ever piece. On was on John Ber uh, was on uh, Bo Bergdahl for Rolling Stone. Uh, in, a, in a letter to his parents, Bo wrote, while in Afghanistan, I'm sorry for everything here. This is after uh, his battalion took its first casualty. So he was clearly affected by what he was seeing over there. I'm sorry for everything here. These people need help. Yet what they get is the most conceited country in the world telling them that they are nothing, that they are stupid, that they have no idea how to live. Uh, we don't even care when we hear each other talk about running their children down in the dirt streets with our armored trucks. He saw an Afghan child get run over by a, a, a car over there, and nothing was done about it. Uh, we make fun of them in front of their faces and laugh at them for not understanding we are insulting them. I am sorry for everything. The horror that is America is disgusting. Now, no one knows for sure what happened. There are claims he deserted his, his, uh, his battalion. He just walked off the base. Some say he was trying to get to India. Uh, there are soldiers in his battalion who say this is true. But according to the U.S. Army, he's in good standing. He never went AWOL. They never had anything to say about that in terms of whether it was true or not because simply nobody really knows what happened. They even gave him a promotion during his time in captivity. In addition, videos have come out where he made videos that they coerced him to make. There's also these Taliban leaders and other people who were involved in his capture saying that he was a, quote, valued guest. He was treated very well. He made his own food with them. He dined with them, celebrated uh, Christmas and Easter with them. They, they, he showed them how to celebrate these holidays. And they go on to say also that these, the, this exchange was a great victory for them. Now, these right-wingers are coming out and saying, you know, the U.S. government is lying to us about this guy. Uh, back, uh, uh, Bergdahl, he's a, he's a traitor. He should be tried. He's a deserter. He's not worth it. This is an American soldier we're talking about. Regardless of whether these accusations come out to be true or not, he's an American citizen. He volunteered to fight for the country. He deserves to come home. But on top of that, to say the U.S. government's lying to us about his status and what they know about him, and then... How do they know the U.S. government's lying to them in their world? The Taliban is saying he was a great guy. The Bergdahl was great with them. They played badminton, apparently. These right-wingers have no problem calling the U.S. government liars because the Taliban is saying something that contradicts the U.S. government. They'd rather believe the Taliban. They'd rather believe these other terrorist groups who were involved in capturing him and filmed these videos featuring him, they'd rather believe these terrorists? This is disturbing stuff. Now, another thing coming out of this is just how far these right-wingers go. Now, if you're on Twitter and you, you pay attention to the, the online blogosphere, which is the right-wing web, you might have heard of Todd Kincannon. He's a former head, a former head of the South Carolina Republican Party. I, bet, I, I believe he was an executive director. He is now the chairman of the Simpsonville South Carolina Election Commission. And he is known for saying some pretty horrific stuff. Such as this. He tweeted this at Bo Bergdahl, the, 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 the prisoner of war we, say, we, 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 we saved. His father, he tweeted this at his father who for the past five years was fighting for the return of his son, not knowing what was going to happen to his son. He tweeted this at his father over the weekend. The next GOP U.S. Attorney General is likely to be a friend of mine. I can't wait to discuss your son's execution with him. Jesus. I was sorry to see your traitor son come home alive. Hopefully he can be executed for desertion. 
in the Cruz administration. Well, that's the most crazy part. That's of that the sentence. most crazy part of the sentence. Yes, but the these are the people who, upon the left, or even Democrats or liberals or whatever, no matter how far left you are, anyone who is anti-war, right. upon hearing of people who are anti-war, they say you are anti-American, you hate the troops, you are anti the U.S. military because you're against war. And then these people come out and actively fight against the safe return of a U.S. soldier. They actively call for the execution of a U.S. soldier. I mean, what world are we living in where they say this without any awareness whatsoever?